entire facility submerged beneath our oceans. For how long, I wonder? One problem at a time, Doctor. One form is but a shadow of our truth. We seek to defy that which would consume us all. Your efforts deny the service. There we go. Final boss fight. We need to kill that thing. The problem is... Is that... Oh crap, we only have our actions that were left or what? Or no, wait, 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 wait. Why did Heidi only have a single movement action? No, she didn't. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen. For all the marbles, we need to kill the avatars. I have have no recollection of how this works. I think enemies started spawning from the sides. So I think we're going to spread the team up into two parts. So Heidi should go right and Emily should go left. So we can spread out the damage a bit. And then we can put Erika in a very, very solid position. You are our greatest adversary. You are our avatar. You can lead our armies and save your world. So two Archons and an Avatar. There can be no more delay. Though I find the possibilities proposed by the creature intriguing, I believe we have passed the point of rational discourse. We didn't come here to talk. Yeah, take it down. Your persistence is admirable, but tired. It is time to accept the path laid out before you, Commander. Return to us. You were once our greatest asset against this world. It can be so, once again. Um, I need to be careful here, because I know more enemies are going to spawn in. So I need to spread out the troops uh, equally, so we can deal with any threats coming in. Our most heavy hitters are going to be Christina with Fanfire. Everything else is on, the, on a cooldown at the moment. We can actually see enemies over here, but that avatar is in a really good position at the moment. Because these things actually teleport every time you do something, so... Hmm... I think it's high time we put Erika somewhere in the middle. So let's use... If we don't use it now, we're never going to use it. So uh, Icarus jump to this uh, lovely thing over here. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Right in the middle. So we can spot anybody. Everything from over here. Icarus jump. And blammo. Yeah, this is, that's a very awesome ability. Panicked! Icarus armor! Haha! <laughs> yes, because the Archons don't really like it when you uh, run around with a shell of your own. Oh! <laughs> oh, he's firing at the, at the Avatar. This is awesome. Um, I do have a flank shot on the Avatar now, but... Hmm. It's not going to kill it. Although we could try and hit the... Archons though, especially the one that's not panicked. So let's fire at this Archon. 100% shot. 14 damage with a critical. That's really good. Do we get an extra action or not? I didn't see it pop up, so probably not. No. Okay, that's fine. So let's just do fanfire on... No, because of the armor. I think I, wa I want to hit the the avatar with something. I think I'm gonna run and gun to over here. It's gonna leave us with one run and gun less, but uh, I'm gonna go here over I here. Because Emily has shredding on her shield gun. So that's gonna be a rapid fire on the avatar. It's a flank shot, so we might get some juicy criticals as well. Oh, we missed the first shot. God damn it. But that's at least a hit, a hit, and the armor is completely gone now. And then it teleports to over there in the back. Okay, that probably means that we won't be able to do anything against it from here anymore. Um, Do we try? I think if I go over here, I could try a domination of one of the Archons. I'm gonna try that. Ooh, that's even a 100%. Yeah, 100% mind control... Of the Archon. That gives us another unit. There we go. 
Our goal is ours. Can we use that immediately? I don't think we can. Panic is removed because of that. Uh, and Heidi could move in. But I think hitting that one Archon over there is going to be enough. Do we get... Yeah, we also have Kelly here. We should, go into, we should go into Overwatch if we get a good position. Yeah, I'm going to have to move her up. Because uh, we need to have everybody in the fight here. It's too bad that the Avatar moved back that far. Because we're not going to be able to do anything against it. Um, I could destroy... So we have Heidi... Yeah, Heidi Christina. Hmm. I could fire the pistol just normally. If I can hit at least six damage, it's going to be dead. Yeah, and that way we don't need to worry about using fanfire already. Uh, and Heidi... Yeah, Heidi is going to go on Overwatch as well, as is Jacqueline. And then we get our first portal activation. Which gives us three chrysalids. That's not a problem at all. That is not a problem at all. It is gonna take... They're gonna take our uh, our Overwatch shots though. Which is a little bit annoying. Because that means that if the, uh, the Avatar jumps in, we're not gonna be able to do anything about that. He is affected by tactical analysis though. Ooh, we got a mind Ooh, fuck. Didn't think about that. He's in my... I can't... Can't stop it! Okay. Okay. That is definitely problematic. That avatar just took control of Erika, which is our, our best unit. And also the one that can teleport, so... Yeah, definitely warrants a crap. Um, I think if I move over here, like this. Order's confirmed. On the move. I mean, the things that they spawned now are not a problem. I need to kill that avatar. Um, I can use the grapple hook. The grappling hook. The grappling hook. Can I? You know what? Uh, I think I can move Emily over here. So she needs to go to the center of the area here. So we do spot the avatar. No, we, we don't even spot the avatar anymore. But grapple up here. Yeah, up there. We might very well forfeit her life here, but uh, I'm not gonna take too much chances. Um, I could hit it. Oh, it's even healing. That is annoying, but no. Reaper. Reaper. Because uh, we need to kill those sectoids as well. I can kill all the sectoids and then end with the avatar. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like that. So first sectoid over here. Like that. 17 damage. Then, next sectoid is... Oh, there's one up here as well. So we probably should take that one out first. Like that. Then we move again to that sectoid down there with... On the corner, please. Oh, come on. That bug is there again. Then I'm going to have to do it over here then, since the game doesn't let me go diagonally again. There we go. And now we should get... We have a shot at... Ooh, we could even just shoot it if we wanted to, but that's 68. That's not good. I'm going to go for the, the, the strike. Is that act could actually inflict bleeding as well? Um, are you serious now? Okay, uh, there, there, so I can get into cover. There we go. There we go. And we get a blade strike on the avatar. That's critical and burning. So ten damage. That's really, really good. Move towards the front again now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my man. Thank you, my man. Um, Heidi. Where's Heidi? Heidi is over here. That's not a flank shot. You can't even see the avatar from over here. So that means that we're going to use... Christina. Oh, uh, Christina doesn't... Probably doesn't get a shot. That's going to be too bad. 
Yeah, because I think if I go over here, she won't be able to spot the avatar, does she? No, we only spot the chrysalids. Okay. Damn it. Uh, I do have run and gun. I do have run and gun and rapid fire. So I think I'm just going to go run and gun. Run and gun. Uh, then move right next to the avatar over here. And I think with a rapid fire, that should kill it, right? That should kill it, right? I think it should. Come on. Moving to designated coordinates. There are multiple avatars, of course. I haven't forgotten about that. But rapid fire flank shots. Uh, that's 85%. But yeah, I'm going to have to take it here. That's one critical, 16 damage, so one, just one tiny teensy hit. There we go. Mind control lost, which is really good. So that's the first avatar down. I'm going to move Heidi back up to over here so she can deal with the chrysalids if they come closer. That's going to be really important as well because those chrysalids are coming in. Um, I think I killed all the sectoids unless I missed one. But, uh, yeah, Emily is the only one over there still. So she should be able to tank at least one hit. Um, the chrysalids are a bit of a bigger problem. I'm going to move uh, Jacqueline as close as possible as well. There we go. And then the commander's avatar is in a really bad position over here. So I'm just going to move him all the way around so he doesn't get hit by the... Uh, she doesn't get hit by the chrysalids. And then the Archon can go on Overwatch... Erica apparently doesn't see anything, so I'm just going to put it on Overwatch as well, so she can reload next turn. And then we can probably hit one of the chrysalids. Yeah, just with a pistol shot. And we even missed that 82% shot. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, and Kelly can go on Overwatch as well. Then this portal in the back activates. And we get another avatar, I would... I suppose, yeah, we got another avatar. So we need to destroy three avatars, by the way. If you missed that. We got one Overwatch shot from Erica on the avatar, I think. Or not. Yeah, that's on the avatar. Oh, that's a double shot on the avatar. That's really good. And we got another shot with it, by the way. So Kelly can go again if she wants to. There we go. One of the chrysalids goes down. Because remember, there are still like three chrysalids over there as well. Uh, and two mutons and two berserkers also spawned with the avatar, if I'm not mistaken. So that's going to be something. And then the game seems to be very hesitant about what to do. I can't move. And yeah. Hello, game. I can, okay, I can pause the game. That's about it. Oh, please don't freeze on this mission. Oh, okay, she woke up. Wow, that look, took like a full minute before the game just activated again. We get an overwatch shot from the Archon, and of course now he doesn't hit anything. But I think we should get... <laughs> he missed. He missed, and the next one is gonna get hit by a blade storm, so that's gonna be dead. There we go. That's dead. As dead can be. No I have no idea where the avatar is, by the way. Oh, it's, is it still over there? Yeah, it's still over there, but only half health now. Ooh, and we got another spawn. But that's just faceless. I can deal with faceless. I don't care about faceless. Get away. I can probably kill those with, a, with one of those rifts. But... We need to focus on the avatars. There's a lot of enemies, but we need to focus on the avatars. Um, okay, first things first, let's move with the Archon to this corner. So we can see what else he can see. Uh, it doesn't seem to be much. Yeah, the mutants and berserkers are over there, but he only has sight of the one mutant. Can we do blazing pinions on this area? We can. But it's not guaranteed that we'll hit everything over there. But it's the only thing we really can do. So there we go. Blazing Pinions. And he actually moves over here then. Which is also interesting. And that just is going to wait. Then I'm guessing we have a free reload. There we go. Um, I think... 
It's high time we activate cereal. And it's not again a breakfast cereal. It's just something where we'll serially kill a bunch of people. Powerful chain shot ability. Every kill made with your sniper rifle, your actions will be refunded. Um, so let's do that. I can't kill anybody just yet with a single shot. Although, I could if I can kill something with a dead eye. Dead eye on the berserker. Chrysalid. I don't really care about the chrysalid. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep that dead eye shot for when I kill the avatar with it, probably. Um, I still have a sniper rifle shot from over here, but I can't see anything with that. So I'm going to try and move her up a little bit with Christina. There we go. Then from here we see the avatar. And I think I'm going to just try fanfire at the avatar. That's 350-50 chances. And even if we hit only one of it, it's going to be pretty good. So there we go. Fanfire. That was a dodge and damage. So that brings him down to 6 damage. And he moves to... I think that's out of the way of... Um, Erica Schultz, if I'm not mistaken. But not out of the way of... Emily over here. Which is good, I think. Because she has shredding. So I think I can kill the avatar from over here now. 88% chance. Here we go. Lost him. Oh, we got a dodge. Okay, that's another teleport then. And that moves him all the way in the back. But that's not a problem, I think. Because most of the people here will be able to strike at it. I think I might even use... Hmm. Might even use um, Reaper on Heidi. To then start whacking away. So the first one to go is going to be... Oh, you know what? The first one to go is going to be the Chrysalid over here. That should be a guaranteed kill. There we go. Blade Master. And then we can move with the blade to the Avatar over here. There we go. Second Avatar down. And then we get another move to nowhere um, unless i'm able to grapple onto one of those higher bits over here no then i'm just gonna move back into the center area there are mutants here so we need to be careful of grenades so let's move her over here that's pretty good now we still need to contend with two berserkers three facelesses and two mutants if i recall correctly most of these will probably move out of the way of the Blazing Pinion, so I can't rely on that. But, if we can manage to destroy... Ooh. The commander actually sees one of the facelesses, but I don't want to risk his ass, her ass, to go down because of that. So, let's just move the commander back a little bit. And then we can put her on Overwatch. Then Blackjack still has... Yeah, still has the Serial ability activated. Um, I could go for the 83% chance on the Muton. That should kill it with that eye. Might as well try. Gonna be too bad of, because of the Serial if it doesn't work. But we managed to take it out. So... Then next up, um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to see something with Kelly over here. Because she's not in the best position to spot any of those guys. But we need to move further a little bit. So let's put it over there. I'm guessing she won't be able to see anything from there. But, oh we do actually. Oh one of the faceless is... Hmm... Which targets can actually hit with combat protocol? <laughs> the Archon. Okay, then I think it's enough to probably hit the faces, even though we won't kill it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let's just hit it. It's weird that Erica can't really hit those guys. 
Because I would think that she could. Let's go over here with Jacqueline. I don't know why the Shredstorm Cannon is... Yeah, it's twice in her... Uh, in her ability bar there. But we can hit a Berserker over there. If I can do Rupture on... I shouldn't probably waste Rupture on a Berserker. Can I toss an Acid Bomb over there? I can, but it only hits the Berserker. So probably just gonna fire away at that one Berserker over there. There we go. That's an 8 damage shot. That's something at least. And he's enraged. I'm guessing nobody will be affected because of that. Now, we do see that one faces. I can shoot it down with... Erica's shot and then maybe finish off with that a shot against that back muton because I think those are the biggest threats at the moment I don't really fear the berserkers all that much so let's just fire at that one faceless blammo um do we have anybody else oh that was even a hair trigger action um I don't have anybody else left so yeah I think I'm gonna go for the uh Oh, the Berserkers are going to move out of the way, though. If I can kill that Muton... It probably won't. It's a 10% chance to actually kill that Muton. But here we go. Nope. We did get... Uh, Minimal damage. Max damage, but that's about it. And that ends our turn. The Berserker moves up. Can he actually hit the Archon from there? Okay. He doesn't seem to be doing anything. They're both going up there. That is... Who was talking about the AI in XCOM again? Because that was ridiculous. They just moved back and forth. Who is he firing at? I think he... Did he fire at the Archon? I don't know why we're not seeing this, but... It's such a stable game, isn't it? And there goes another Faceless. So the commander takes that one out. And then I think we have one more Faceless. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I think he's suppressing the Archon. Because I keep hearing him fire. And now we get our final avatar, I would think. No, not over there at least. And the Blazing Pinions go off. And we get an Overwatch shot on the Archon, which misses. That is interesting. So that means that the Archon is probably going to be able to kill... Oh, this is good. I don't have any MP bomb, sadly. But this is pretty good. Because Emily still has the blue screen rounds. And I think we can do face off as well. Yeah. Ooh, wow. There's still a lot of targets in our uh, in our vicinity here. Um, I don't think we, s we got another avatar. So that's going to have to wait until next turn then. So we have a little bit of breathing room to take out the rest of the units here. Dimensional rifts. Let's put that over here. I want to just use that on those three codexes. They're going to split up. Oh no, the three codexes are over there. Um, they're going to split up. Um, but then at least I have the extra targets. I can put Christina in a better position for face-off. Blammo, so that's triple damage. And we get clones all over the place now. Probably not my best decision there, but... Because they're all moving in the back. Okay, that's not the best position it could have been in. But we do get another action with the commander if we need to. Um, let's do a melee strike on the... Wait, can I do a melee strike on the... Uh, on on, on the, the, the muton over here? You know what? Let's put him over here, up top. And now we can probably fire at the Muton from the back here. That's only an 85% shot for some reason, but there we go. Oh, what the hell? Come on. That was bullshit. But, uh, reload. And now we can probably only fire with... Oh, we can. We still have three reloads on this thing. This is ridiculous. Um, we could kill most of the codexes from here. 
And we actually get a pretty nice shot from up there. So if I put Christina up here, she can probably do face-off with a pretty nice kill rate there. So that's three enemies. Um, face-off. Um, that's one. That's two. And that was a miss. And that was a hit. So we did take out one... Yeah, we took out one of them, which is not perfect, but it's something. I think we should probably move Emily to over here somewhere, so she can take out one of the codexes. There is another gate here, so I don't know if that's going to be the place where the uh, the final avatar is going to pop out. But uh, let's go over here. Let's move already. She still has the grappling hook, so if we need to. We can actually get out of there if... So there we go, another shot. And that's another critical. 20 damage because of the blue screen rounds. Um, then... On Jacqueline we have... You know what, I am going to use that acid bomb now. Since we missed with uh, the Archon, I think. Oh, for God's sakes. So we need to move a little bit further. So let's move to this corner over here. So that's full cover. That does get me into range. Oh, that Muton is even panicking because of the rage suit. That Ah, oh, he's moving away. God damn it. He is firing at the Berserker. And he misses him. Oh, because of course he does. Can we now do uh, an acid bomb? It's not going to help us now because that... Oh, that Muton... God damn it, that one muton is so far away now that he... Can I? I thought I had him there for a second. There we go. There we go. I can hit both of them with an acid bomb. That's gonna kill the muton and severely damage the berserker. There we go. Another angry Berserker. If that other Berserker wants to move, he's going to get hit with acid as well, I think. He's going to have to move through that. Now, what else do we have with the Sniper Rifle? We can kill a bunch of Codexes with that, but I think that those Berserkers are going to be more important. Um, I have a 20% chance for a critical hit here. It's not the best... But it's better than nothing, I suppose. So let's just fire at that weakest Berserker. And that was a critical. Holy crap, we hit that 20%. Which means we get another shot. Um, and I think we should probably take out one of the Codexes with that. Because that one Berserker isn't going to die from what we shoot him with. So, Although we might have a different way of dealing with that one. Yeah, because we still have Heidi here as well. Um, we don't have a grenade with Heidi. That would have been nice to take out those guys. We don't have a grenade with anybody, probably. But first shot with Kali is going to be over here on that faceless. So at least that one doesn't come out of the woodworks and try to hit anybody. Then the commander, I think I'm going to have to put on Overwatch. Who else do we have left? So Heidi, the commander, and uh, Erica's final shot. Erica's final shot. Hmm... The high damage is probably better on the Berserker. But those codexes are really going to be annoying if they start teleporting all over the place. So the more I can take out... Although she has kill zone. But because of the teleportation of the codexes, I probably won't be able to hit anything. Um, so I should go for... Yeah, I should go for that one shot. On the codex. There we go. Another severely unnecessary critical. Uh, we get a ha hair trigger shot, so we get another shot on the Berserker as well. There we go. That's nine damage. Um, and then... Um, I'm gonna put Heidi on the corner here. Or can I go all the way around? I can't. So let's put Heidi on the corner. That's right on the edge of the uh, the psionic rift there. Ooh, that's not good, is it? Um, so let's move 
can't move over there, but I can move up the stairs over here. Like that. She goes into the, the rift for a second there, the dimensional rift, but there we go. Better shots. Uh, 96. Yeah, let's go for the 96. There we go. That was even a dodge, but that leaves us with two codexes and an almost dead... Ooh, we get another hair trigger action. Never mind. Firing away. One more codex. And they all dodge the shots. We don't get a second hair trigger action. And the, the commander I'm going to put on Overwatch. And that's probably going to be our final avatar, right? Yeah, there we go. So that's again double mutant, double berserker and the avatar. We can't see it because it's like we're looking down the ass of a mutant. But there they go and the avatar is over there in the back. The berserker is going for the Archon now, which is uh, and he even misses. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then that one codex is going to move up and try to hit Ooh, try to hit the commander. And he actually hits him. Her. God damn it. Okay. But the final avatar is on the field. So that means that we can actually finish this. Ooh, we got another spawn. Triple chrysalids. And let's see. It looks like I can even see the avatar from over here. But without running gun, that's going to be a hard one to hit. So how are we going to do this? So Emily is actually the closest one, but I need to reload her. Good to go. So definitely do that first. Then we might actually be able to... Uh, that pillar is really in the way. What's the range of the... Ooh. I was going to say what's the range of the grappling hook, but that seems almost unfair. Uh, so let's grapple up there. I don't think any one of those was on Overwatch. So we might as well take a look. We get shots on everything aside from the avatar now, of course. Um, but we do have a way of flanking it now. Even though those mutants are going to eviscerate Emily. Um, but it does force the avatar to relocate. So if we can finish it off in this turn, then uh, I think we're home free. Is this a wall, by the way? It seems like it is can't really see it properly because of the the avatar's location but let's risk it let's risk it for all the marbles this is gonna be the final push so let's put emily right next to the avatar and into a lot of danger but fire away at this guy hi there we go critical and shredding so that's 10 damage already on the avatar and he pops Back to the middle, but that should be in range of, yes indeed, Jacqueline. And I think Jacqueline, yeah, if we move her just a little bit, she's going to have... Ah, it's not going to be a flank shot, although, never mind, she has run and gun. She has run and gun, so run and gun on Jacqueline. We're going to finish this today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to finish this in this turn even. So moving up, right behind the avatar and putting in a rupture shot on the avatar. So that should probably kill it in one go on the next attack. If he managed to hit, and that was even a critical, that's 14 damage on the rupture shot. And I think, yeah, the avatar is gonna be down for the count because we can even kill it with the um, with the, the Archon now because the Archon is probably the closest one. Ah. <laughs> But no, I want to give one of our soldiers the uh, the killing blow. Do we have another free reload on Erika? This thing is just full of free reloads. We can actually hit him. Yeah, I think it's over. It is over. Um, yeah, what else is there to say? This guy is going to die from a sniper rifle shot from probably one of our most... Uh, latecomers? Because Erika wasn't uh, our, our best trooper in uh, the later rounds uh, in, the, in the earlier games but uh, yeah she she really worked her way up and uh, she's gonna take the final blow on the avatar the third avatar here we go bye bye oh look at that suit and there it goes 
And I think... There we go, Valhalla. We get the trophy. We made it to Valhalla. We beat the game on Commander difficulty in Iron Man mode. That's the proof if you ever needed it. And let's enjoy this ending. Shen, tell me you've got a plan B here. Nice work. Was it anything on my end? This shouldn't even be possible. Unless... Commander, whatever it is you're doing is working. Just make sure you save enough juice for your own trip home. Commander, you okay? We just lost contact. Enveloping the commander's consciousness. Let's sever the connection. We do that, we risk a complete overload. We will reclaim what was given. We will be whole once more. No! Yes! Synaptic activity returning to acceptable levels. And one transdimensional psionic network down for the count. Mission accomplished, Commander. Yes! We fucking did it! network broadcasting on all frequencies. Advent is in full retreat across all areas. Heavy fighting continues in the city centers as Advent forces attempt to regroup. We're barely keeping up with the flood of refugees here, as people continue to desert the Advent-controlled city centers. Full curfew remains in effect as the administration deals with the ongoing crisis. To all of you in the occupied zones, hold your ground. Continue the fight. We promise you, help is on the way. That music remains kick ass. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We finished XCOM 2 by using only female soldiers and we get a little bit of a teaser of what's to come hopefully because we did get a spin-off in between this game and uh, whatever we hope is XCOM 3 and there's a uh, psionic energy coming from the ground oh wait a second is this this is new. This is from War of the Chosen. What next? We finally come in from the cold. Okay, so we got one for every faction, I suppose. So that was the Reapers. Now we're gonna get the Skirmishers, since it's uh, Advent Troopers. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, welcome home. Even the cutscene stutters, but there we go. Free from the psionic network, they're gonna join the skirmishers. And now we have the Templars. Ooh, that's very colorful. Time is short. We want but a battle. Now the real war begins. 
What the actual fuck is that? Wait, we a uh, game? Game. Okay, we already got that. And now we're getting it without audio. Your your uh, video player isn't breaking down. Oh, XCOM 2. XCOM 2. So again, I talked about this before, but this port is basically a travesty for so many reasons. <laughs> We're just gonna watch everything again. Um, because, I mean, even the cutscene stutter, that is ridiculous because they don't look um, in game. They look kind of pre-rendered because there's like that fuzzy overlay on top of them. And yeah, this, this port isn't just, it's just not acceptable, is it? I've had uh, in to a total of five crashes along this playthrough. And because we're playing on Iron Man mode, where you don't have a backup save, if you try to quit the game, it deletes your save file. You need to press save and quit for it to actually hold on to your save file. And even if it crashes, so if it's not your fault, the game thinks you're trying to cheat and deletes your save file, which is, luckily I had PlayStation Plus to uh, give me a cloud backup, but uh, there we go, we saw everything twice. The game made sure that we knew what we were looking at. And uh, there we go. The uh, victory on commanded difficulty on Iron Man mode, that's the proof, if you were wondering. Um, we lost two missions um, because, I think one we lost because of the uh, objective being destroyed by the enemies. I think two of them were like that. Um, we did get as many flawless missions as the rest of the world, but with only 49 missions compared to 60 missions. Uh, well, over the course of uh, everybody else's game. Uh, 841 aliens killed, 16 soldiers lost and a shot percentage uh, of 84% on average. Um, and a lot less. I think this might be across all difficulties because it seems like a whole lot of uh, turns left for uh, doing all those missions on the commander difficulty. Um, what else do we have? We killed all the Chosen just as the world apparently. Um, and we really rushed apparently that first Chosen compared to everybody else. Um, global ability points are about the same. Covert actions a bit less because apparently we finished the game rather quickly. Even though this has more episodes than the uh, the previous playthrough we did of XCOM 2. Uh, four level three soldier bonds and yeah, a lot of a lot less breakthrough researches because we prioritize the ones that we know we needed. Um, 31 soldiers who saw action instead of the 41. Mm, just skipping over most of these. Number of colonels seems to be on par with the world, so we did finish it once we could do that. Uh, a lot more hack rewards. So I tend to uh, use hacking a lot more than the rest of the, the player base, apparently. The average player base. Um, and we did get about the same amount of kills with beam weapons, which means that we spend them about the same time with that weapon type but not with all the other weapon types which is funny and we did uh it did take a lot longer to get to alien encryption apparently we did build all the radio relays which is definitely going to be more than everybody else because it's basically the maximum um and everything else yeah we did pay a bit more intel to the black market but everything else seems to be lower than the average but there we go We've proven, we've officially proven that you can beat XCOM 2 with only female soldiers. Our Valkyrie run was completely successful and I'm, I, I couldn't be, be glad. Do we get an overview of the, the soldiers at the end there? We don't, which is sad because I wanted to just review everybody who was in there. But yeah, the, the squad was really, really cool. We did develop a lot of interesting Valkyries. Um, with their kind of their own personality, their own skill set, uh, especially with the newer additions with uh, Elena from the Reapers and Elena from the Templars. Um, and yeah, we, we made it out okay. We did lose Marina right at the end there in the, uh, the communication tower mission. Um, but other than that, I think our Valkyries barely got hit. I think two people, I think Emily got hit twice and then the commander once. Um, but that was it. We uh, definitely proven that uh, those final abilities might be a bit overpowered sometimes because we didn't even use any of the newer classes in the final mission. Um, 
But yeah, game is done. But with that done, I need to talk about, of course, what's coming up next. Around the time that this video is released, um, The Last of Us Part 2 will also have been released. So I'm planning to do a completely blind playthrough in that game. Um, since the, the ending of this series and the beginning of uh, the release of that game, game kind of overlaps. So uh, I'll probably do a playthrough of that first. But if you really, really liked this playthrough, let me know in the comment section down below. The one thing I still haven't done in this game is try a run in uh, on legend difficult legendary diff or legend I think it's legend uh, difficulty because um, that's the highest difficulty in the game. I've never tried it before, and I feel like I have enough of a grasp of the DLC now as well to even go with a War of the Chosen run with that aside of course from all the issues that this game has i am willing to put up with it one more time to uh go with a legendary playthrough uh so let me know in the comment section down below if you would be interested in seeing that otherwise i'll just move on to newer and other games i can't play xcom camera squad just yet i know that released as well uh because it hasn't been released on consoles and i only have a mac to well where i edit and record my uh, videos on so uh that's it for this game i think hope you guys enjoyed this full playthrough this full blind playthrough of xcom 2 war of the chosen with the valkyrie rule set meaning that we fully completed the game with only female soldiers um thank you enormously for watching thank you enormously for the support along the way and i hope to see you in the next video or series thanks for watching thanks enormously for watching and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.